importa el credo, bandera ni razas. Creo que aún no perdimos ninguna batalla. Creo en las miles de historias de tu antepasado. Creo en la herida de un pueblo que está despertando. Creo en las leyes que rigen los dioses paganos. My name is Martin Guas. I'm from Argentina and I've been attending uh, Berklee College of Music since 2017 till 2020 and now working as a professor at the college. Creo was a song that I wrote a long time ago that their melody remained in my head for a long time. I never felt that the lyrics were right on point. In my high school times, every Friday we had to go to church and we used to say this, this prayer called Credo, which is I believe in God, Almighty. So I asked myself why not to write something that I believe in or people in the 21st century believe in. A big part of being a great performer or recording artist is having your own voice, your own authentic voice. Por las noches este sol, nadie me vendrá a buscar. Pensamientos que se funden como el agua en un cristal. Working with Martin is fun and rewarding and lovely. Like watching him grow as a student into a really solid producer, songwriter. You could see this nugget of just pure emotion in his creativity and, and his desire to tell a great story. So I just watched through these three classes as he got better and better as a producer and someone who had better insight into how he could connect with his audience by performing better and his vocals got better. And by the end, we were mixing and, and balancing things and creating moments that enhanced the story in his songs. I think I found a deep reason in an early age and that made me no matter whatever I had to do to pursue music, which uh, it was what I love. I was born in 1991 and I was raised in a music store, which my parents had started working when I was four or five years old. The environment and living around instruments made me find a lot of interest and also to understand music as a language. When I was about 17, 18 years old, I decided to take music seriously. I found a master. He helped me so much with piano, but understanding music in general. I got the opportunity to audition for Berkeley. I think coming here was one of the things that really changed my perspective of life. It was a big challenge to make the decision because I had a career in Argentina already and coming here was to start over. But I did it and, and I think it was one of the biggest and best decisions that I ever made. Thank you very much. One day I just decided to take a hard drive that I had with a lot of songs. I believe it was around 200 or more. And I was very lost in my songwriting and I felt like everything that I've been writing for that time was not resonating with my artistry anymore. So I just I just took it and I threw it in the river. Sometimes like you just realize that certain truths for you are not truth anymore and you move on. Solo vivo aquí en silencio. 
I grew up listening to Prince, to Stevie Wonder, to Michael Jackson, to a lot of people that I didn't know what they were saying, but at the same time, there was something in the music that was making me feel very interested about what they were trying to communicate, even though I wasn't understanding the, the language. The way I compose depends on how things happen first. He perdido casi todas las batallas que he ganado. Buscado amor en los lugares más equivocados. Perdido hasta la calma, pero mi alma la ha encontrado por tu amor. Sometimes I will have a melody in my head that I am whistling or having during the day, and I just come back home and I try to make it work with some lyrics and some chords. Sometimes I have a chord progression. That's kind of like yeah. the idea of it. I do believe that better lyrics come out when you write the lyrics first. I feel very comfortable with Spanish writing and I'm really working on, on the English lyrics and learning because there is such a difference between the way we express metaphors. What's happening right now in the world is crazy that after a pandemic, we don't have the empathy to stop creating things like whatever is happening in Russia and Ukraine. It's unbelievable that as humanity, we continue to hurt, to destroy. The idea with the video was just to show that as humanity, we are closer to each other than what we think we are. 